let us solve this toughest question of j advanced 2024 okay let's first analyze the question so i'll just tell you the question in brief there is this orange equilateral region of magnetic field the magnetic field is pointing outward there is a equilateral triangle wire which is moving like this with constant velocity okay so as it moves from here to here the emf induced in this triangular wire is given by these graphs the emf induced as a function of x x is measured from here so which of the uh, which is which of these options is correct that is what he is asking in this question so let us move on to the solution so first this question can be solved by many methods Uh, we'll use motional EMF method to solve this question. Okay, so let me just recap it once for you. Okay, so this is a magnetic field which is pointing outward. all these three wires are coming down with velocity v so let us say this length is l okay if this length is l coming down with velocity v we can replace this by a cell like this okay so v bar cross b bar this side positive terminal here negative terminal here this is b v into l okay similarly for this we can just join these two ends okay if this length is l i can replace this by a cell b v into l similar thing here suppose this is partially in the magnetic field okay only this part is there so what will we do we'll take only this length okay this length is perpendicular to the velocity there won't be motional emf in this part because it is outside the magnetic field so again v bar cross b bar this direction so i can uh, replace this by a cell b v into l okay so this is what we'll be using in our question so we'll take two uh, intervals the first interval is when this x varies from 0 to l okay and when x is greater than l and for these two cases we'll find out what is the emf induced so first this is our x okay from here to here is x now what is the length of uh, uh, wire so only this part of the wire is there inside the magnetic field right so there will be a motional emf only due to this part so i'll just replace this wire by like this and yes we can uh, draw a cell in this direction so you see that this figure it is symmetric so this is a rhombus this is one diagonal of the rhombus which is x okay and if this is x this will be x by 2 this is 30 degrees so this will be x by 2 root 3 so this half is x by 2 root 3 x by 2 root 3 the total will be x by root 3 okay so we can say the emf induced right now is e equal to b v x by root 3 with a negative sign negative sign is because uh, you know this side uh, emf induced he has taken it as negative so that is why we are putting it as negative okay so this is for for x less than L. now let us move on to the case for which x is greater than L. okay see this question can be done by two methods the first is motional emf method and the other is a flux change method okay in exam which method to use uh, this is a difficult thing okay the students who are able to you know choose the correct method in the exam and do it you know hats off to you because this is not a easy question it's a very tough question okay exam point of view this is not easy to do okay let us move on to the case for which x is greater than l so again from here to here is x okay so i'll just mark this 
from here to here is x okay and uh, from here to here is l i am considering from here to here is y okay just for uh, making it much easier defining the variables and making it easier now what is the emf induced in this wire there are three pieces of wire inside the magnetic field the first piece second piece and third piece okay so due to this wire we can say the emf induced is like this due to this wire like this and due to this wire like this okay now so let us say this is p this is q i'm just putting the lens pq r and s now the emf induced in this i'll write it here okay the emf induced in this equal to bv okay bv just a minute huh? bv into so just emf induced in this direction we are taking it as positive that is how he has given in our uh, question okay so due to this it is rs okay due to these two it is minus pr minus sq minus pr plus sq okay so this is the emf induced in this wire for x greater than l so this we can just continue bv into what is this rs tell me if this is y this rs is the same as this one this length which is the same as this length okay so if this is y this length is so this is y this is uh, this will be y by root 3 from this triangle because this is 30 degrees okay so this is y by root 3 so this whole thing is 2y by root 3 this is 2y by root 3 so this is 2y by root 3 minus so this is like this okay x plus q minus pr plus sq what is pr plus sq pq minus rs so this is pq minus rs okay so the emf e equals to bv by just a minute what is pq tell me we have seen that this whole thing is a rhombus and the diagonal of this rhombus is x so this pq is x by root 3 minus minus this becomes plus rs this rs we have seen if this is y this will be 2y by root 3 plus 2y by root 3 so this comes out to be e equal to bv by root 3 into 4y minus x okay and now we need to draw the graph of emf e versus x so this whole thing is x this is l this is y so i can say y equal to x minus l okay i'll just replace it here e equal to bv by root 3 into this y can be written as x minus l minus x so e comes out to be bv by root 3 into so this is 3x minus 4 okay so for x less than l this is the value for x greater than l this is the value okay so let us move forward so yes i'll just write it down once again for i'll write it down once again for x less than l 
the emf is minus bvl by root 3 and for x greater than l the emf is bv by root 3 into 3x minus 4 okay so yes we can compare which graph here and we can say from this that option a is the correct option okay see initially the increase the magnitude of increase in emf is less after l this change in this emf is there no it is very high let us see this with the help of a visual okay so this was the correct option let us see how the charges move inside the wire as the wire is progressing from x equal to l till x equal to 2l Okay, so from x equal to 0 to L, okay, the EMF is going on increasing. So, the current is also going on increasing. At this value, so this value is 4L by 3, you can get from that equation. At this value, the EMF becomes 0. So, the current becomes 0 here. Okay, and after that, the EMF rapidly increases in the opposite direction, which means after this, the current rapidly increases in the opposite direction. Okay, so I hope you all understood this question and you liked the visuals in this. Okay, it was a very good question from GE Advanced. Next, let us see what is coming up in our next video. This is a question from GE Advanced 2021. Can you guess what question this is? Okay. So we'll take this up in the next video. Till then, see you all. Bye-bye.